Yeah, all right, this is another video about microtransactions. I am sorry. We don't like going on about them all the time, but sadly the games industry just keeps giving us reasons to do it. This time it's Activision that's curling one out, and holy shit, this takes it up to a terrible new level. Earlier this month, Activision were granted a patent which would use multiplayer matchmaking to convince people to buy microtransactions. That's right, a system designed to manipulate you into buying microtransactions. The patent, which is catchily titled System and Method for Driving Microtransactions in Multiplayer video games just just a little tip for the PR department don't call your patent that it makes it so easy for us it was filed in 2015 by Activision's research and development department while the patent is generally about how to improve matchmaking between players it also makes reference to matching players to entice them into buying in-game items the patent reads quote for example in one implementation the system may include a microtransaction engine that arranges matches to influence game related purchases for instance the micro transaction engine may match a more expert stroke marquee player with a junior player to encourage the junior player to make game related purchases of items possessed or used by the marquee player. A junior player may wish to emulate the marquee player by obtaining weapons or other items used by the marquee player. I feel like I want to call myself a marquee player. I want to put that on my Twitter bio now. Have you bought enough microtransactions to qualify? No, I, as I well? haven't. That's right, yeah. I so mean, I you can't... don't really want to stick that out there, do you? Out. You know what I mean? So this means the system would match new players who haven't bought certain in-game items, like powerful weapons, for example, with experienced players who do have those in-game items in an attempt to get them to buy them for themselves. So in theory, say you're playing COD World War II multiplayer and you keep getting killed by a player who's using a shiny, impressive gun that maybe you can only get through an in-game purchase. If Activision follows through with this pattern, then there's a chance the game would have put you in a game with that player on purpose as a way of advertising to you how awesome that gun is. So it's going to use the people who do buy microtransactions to persuade you that you should buy them as well. According to the pattern, the system will also match players who have just bought an in-game item with skilled players who have bought the same thing. By doing this, players will think their purchase was worth it and any buyer's remorse will be gone, in theory. The pattern says, quote, for example, if the player purchased a particular weapon, the microtransaction engine may match the player in a gameplay session in which the particular weapon is highly effective, giving the player an impression that the particular weapon was a good purchase. This may encourage the player to make future purchases to achieve similar gameplay results. This is from their an official document like it's like this is how we are going to manipulate and trick and scheme our way into getting people to part with their money this isn't even us speculating as to why they've made this pattern this is all in there in the document itself how f***ing stupid can they be describing in full and in detail how they're going to be manipulating you and the fact that they're whacking a pattern on it um, is just points out to the fact that they are the only ones who are going to be doing this sneaky shit that is f***ing bad uh, I just swore that's how bad it is. <laughs> We've all been talking about loot boxes for the last couple of weeks. This is just cannonaded that out of the water. This is like, get, get, get the loot boxes out of here. This is what we're doing. This is the new hotness. The rate at which this is evolving is quite terrifying. I dread to think what it's going to be like in a year's time. A lot of people say microtransactions, they don't hurt anybody. And one of our main arguments is that they balance the game around microtransactions. And this is exactly what they're doing here. They've even written that in their own words, we are changing the game to try and make you spend your money. We are going to put you against people who are going to kill you. We're going to show you all these items that you could buy and make yourself better and enjoy the game more. You will enjoy the game more if you buy this stuff that we are exposing you to. This is the prime example of why we say microtransactions are bullshit and they've written it in their own words. An Activision spokesperson told Blixel the technology is not currently used in any Activision games. The spokesperson said, quote, this was an exploratory pattern filed in 2015 by an R&D team working independently from our game studios. It has not been implemented in the game. It's like they're washing their hands already. It's like, this wasn't this wasn't the game this was like export this was back in 2015 totally exploratory this was somebody else it wasn't the game studio how do they expect us to believe them now where they've already it's already out there that they're trying to scheme to get our money from us but, but trust us but trust us this was this was before but we, we haven't implemented any games we haven't put in any games yet you have to trust us right
fucking know. So for the time being, this system apparently is not being used in the likes of Destiny 2 or COD Infinite Warfare, but COD World War 2 is on the horizon and the patent has been granted just in time for its release. So maybe it will indeed be implemented then, or they might just forget about the whole thing and leave it alone. But this is Activision we're talking about, so they probably will. I compare this to like YouTube and the influence of it, because this is the way it works on YouTube, right? If a company wants to promote their product with a YouTuber, they go to an influencer, which is the YouTuber, and they get the YouTuber to say how good this awesome product it is. Look how awesome it is. It's just like that, but on a smaller scale inside the game where you see players that are better than your players who are doing, you know, awesome things using better stuff than yeah, it's just a marketing ploy. It makes you kind of an involuntary uh, pawn in their kind of game as well, because you, you're just because you've bought into the microtransaction, say that you are an idiot and you have bought a microtransaction, then they use you then to, to influence other players and, and there's, you're not getting anything out of that. I mean, they, they're using you as a f***ing billboard. The, the, the implications are like game balance and stuff here is absolutely terrible. Like, this is the kind of stuff that people always complain about pay to win in multiplayer and stuff. This is what this is. This is intentionally kind of putting people with, in their own words, good, powerful items against people who don't, so that those people who don't will buy the good, powerful items. Again, the fact that they have written this down in text and submitted <laughs> it to a company and said, please, can we do this? And please, can you make it that only we can do this? This has happened. It's one thing to do it, but it's another thing to file a patent for yeah, it. Exploratory and or not, yeah. you still f***ing did it. Oh. We, we want to prevent other people, that's the, that's the point of a pattern, right? Prevent other people from being as yeah. treacherous as they're being. I, I liken it to Fagan off Oliver Twist, like the guy who gets everybody to pickpockets. But he's patented the pickpocket in technique. So that if anybody else pickpockets and makes money in the treacherous, like, scheming way that he does, then he gets a profit from it. How many levels of bullshit, how, how many levels of shitness yeah. can you get to? Because this is, this, is, this is rank bottom for me. I mean, how many things have inspired an Oliver reference out of us? Nothing before. This is new territory. All right, guys, I'm going to assume you're a bit pissed off about this, but let us know exactly what you think down in the comments. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and please do subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this every single day. Another video right there, which you could watch right now, of course, and the link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.